So today, there's no laptop. Oh no. <laughs> because today, you're reacting to this. What's this? What is this? Like, 1800s. Buster, Blockbuster's video. One day rental, Blockbuster video. I think I've heard of this once, but I never knew what it was. I thought this was a book. It's an old school movie. It's a Blockbuster video. I remember these. I saw the Blockbuster video store, and it was closing down, and now it's a paint store. Question time! This is a rental from a video store called Blockbuster Video. Do you know what a video store is? Do. No. I don't know. It's kind of like Redbox, but an actual store. I used to get movies there all the time. Just a store where you go uh, get videos or movies and then, or rent them, I guess, and then bring them back. It's not that popular. But is it even still alive? It closed down the uh, most of the locations because now there's stuff like Netflix and Hulu and all these things where you can just do it online. Well, a video store is where you would go to rent movies. So I'm gonna walk you through what it would be like to go to a video store. First, you have to get in your car and drive all the way to the store. Then you'd look around for a movie you like and pay money to rent it and bring it home. But you only could keep the movie for a certain amount of time. It's a back then red box. One day rental. Sometimes you don't have time to watch a movie until the day you can, you have to return it. That's crazy! What if you don't finish it? Do we have anything like this today? A week? <laughs> you can go to On, Dem on Demand on if you have that. Amazon Prime, you could rent movies. Well, nowadays there's stuff like Netflix, which I watch a lot of and YouTube, even though that doesn't really have too much to do with movies, but still. Sometimes you'd go to the store because you wanted a specific movie, but then someone already rented it and it wasn't there, so you had to pick something else and just go home with nothing. And that's why people make YouTube today. That's like the library, except with film and weird looking boxes. Now with things like Netflix and stuff that you can just watch like on demand, it's like not as bad. That's when people were very patient. <laughs> and now, we are not. So once you'd picked your movie, you'd go up to the front counter and present them with your membership card. You have to have a membership card? You get a card too, it's so fancy. I think I remember it. Video stores use membership cards to keep a person's information so that if a video was never returned or somehow got lost, they would charge the person. Oh, that makes sense. So that somebody doesn't just keep it forever and then just have it and sell it. Which brings us to late fees. If you didn't return the movie on time, you'd get charged more money than you already paid to rent it. What do you think about that? I think, I think it's kind of mean. It's inhumane that we need to pay more just because we are late on a movie. This place is old. You can get stuff for way cheaper. You can download Netflix. All you need to do is pay for your account. I'm all used to like, you can just go on the internet and now you can watch a movie. What if there's like a video store like 20 miles away from your house? Then you just spend more money and then more money because you can't get it back on time. If you don't return the movie on time, they can't do business. They can't get their movie back so they can't give it to someone else. So, I mean, it's, it's fair. Remember that this was a pretty normal thing not too long ago. In the past, there really wasn't a way to watch movies except in theaters or on TV when it was randomly on. So you'd go to video stores to watch movies because there was almost no online video watching. What do you think about that? I am so glad I didn't live back then. I wondered how people lived. It's weird to think that that was so like, not too long ago. I think that's really sad. Can't go on a device and watch Netflix, Hulu, On Demand. To give you a bit of a better idea of what Blockbuster was, we're gonna show you a couple of commercials about the store. Commercial? I think I've only seen like one commercial for them, and that was right before they went out of business. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over oh, this is 10, so cheesy. Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no that rush. That looks no so tiny. So no rush, no hassle. Fast check. The clothes, the hairstyle, and how everything looks is so different. Look at that! Look at that man! He's flying down with the blue thing! Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video! Is Welcome to Blockbuster Video! There's one near you. Blockbuster video. Oh, they have a theme song too. <laughs> Blockbuster video. Wow, what a difference. That was one of the worst commercials ever. No more late peace. 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 No more late pe
pretty sure that's how most people would be for late fees. Protest for nothing. They stop late fees? Oh. <laughs> Someday, you'll remember where you were when you first heard that there are no more late fees at Blockbuster. That's probably a really good thing to do as a business. The end of late fees. Just because fees. there's no late fees, they're the like, start of more. Yeah, this is the best the time of my life. The new Blockbuster. The new Blockbuster. Well, that that is a major improvement. I would like to applaud Blockbuster a few years ago. Good job. So at its peak, Blockbuster had over 9,000 stores and 60,000 employees. 60,000? Really? That's a lot. But have you ever been to one? I don't think so. No. No. But I've seen a lot of these. I think my dad has when he was a kid. Yeah, like a long time ago. They don't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure they all closed down. I'm not sure. Right? Well, in part because of things like Netflix and Redbox, Blockbuster has ended up having to close almost every store. What do you think about that? Oh, that's sad. I feel bad for them, and then they're like, we're so successful. We're not successful. And when I heard about the one that they were closing down near my house, I was like, oh, but I loved like, all, getting all of my favorite movies there, and now with Netflix, it's like, oh, like, Blockbuster who? I mean, it's gonna happen, because everything gets better and better, so... I, I think it's obvious that they were gonna go out of business because there's gonna be something, there's always something that's gonna be better than something else. The world is getting older and more advanced. Things come and go and um, it's the circle of life. Now that you've learned a little bit more about video stores, what would you say to your parents or other people who had to rent movies this way? You guys were really patient. It's not their fault. They didn't have all this new stuff that came out now. I feel bad. Because you had to drive to a video store, and what happens if there was not a video? Life must have been so hard. I mean, first you had to go out into the car when you're like tired but you want to watch a movie. You had to go all the way there, no matter how far it was, and get it. That's that's hard. It's not like really hard, but it wouldn't be the most fun trip to do every time you want to watch a movie. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids React. Like what you saw, then hit that subscribe button. Goodbye. Make it a blockbuster night.